Welcome to my switching routing and wireless essentials course. This should be the CCNA version 7 curriculum. This is the second of three courses. Lab 13.2.7 configuring a basic wireless LAN on the wireless LAN controller. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and modify my windows a little bit. Read through the instructions in the background. I'm going to be doing part one, monitoring the WLC. So wait until STP has converged. Wait till you have all green arrows, which we do. Go to the admin PC. Get to our desktop. Enter the management IP address of the wireless LAN controller into the web browser. So our wireless LAN controller is 192.168.200.254. Oh, make sure to do HTTPS. So our web controller is there. Log in. Admin and Cisco123 are the passwords. Sometimes this boot takes a minute, so be patient. Alright, so now that we are in, scroll through the monitoring summary screen. So we're at the monitoring, we can see the addresses, we can see the versions, we can see the images, the name, the uptime, the system time, the temperature, the different types of networking states for 802.11a, 11bg, we can see CPU usage, we can see individual CPU usage, memory, and the fan speeds. We can also see if there's any rogue activity for rogue access points. We can see what access points are here. We can also see what other client summary details that are there. So is there a wireless LAN connected to the an access point? Well, we see access points and we see access points that are up. If we click details, we can see the details of them. With the version Ada Packet Tracer, the LAN controller is a little slower. Here is an access point that's associated with what we are doing, so yes. So click next on the details as the access point, that's what we're doing. What can you find out about the access points? Well, we can see its name, we can see its IP address, we can see its model, its MAC address, its uptime, its admin status, its PoE status, its speed, its version, and so forth. So from there, I'm gonna scroll down. So we've already answered those questions. So we're gonna be doing part two. Part two is create a wireless LAN. So we will navigate to the wireless LAN controller. We're going to see that that's what we see. If we have any profiles set, they should be there. We don't have any of them. So we're going to go ahead and create new. Click go. It takes a minute, so you just have to be a little patient with it. All right, so the profile name is SSIDTAC5. Oh, sorry, that's the SSID. Our profile name is going to be floor to employee. And the ID is going to be VLAN ID number five. I'm going to go to click apply. Give it a minute for it to process. And then we will go ahead and configure the next steps. All right, so from there, it will load our actual wireless LAN. First thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and enable it, so turn it on, which we did. So next, we need to choose the VLAN interface that we'll be using. So our interface group will be wireless LAN 5. From there, we're going to go ahead and choose advanced. We will be doing our Flex Connect local switch and Flex Connect local off. Flex Connect. 
and boop. And we're going to be securing our land. So I'm going to go back to security. Our security should be using WPA2 Enterprise. So we'll choose a WPA, WPA2. We will choose a WPA2 policy. And we need to make sure that our authentication is PSK. If we're using Enterprise, we'd be doing 802.1x. But since we are doing our WPA2 personal, we would be using pre-shared key. All right, so scroll down. And you'll see after we do our PSK, we'll get a new PSK format. That's where we're going to set up our pre-shared key. Normally, you want this to be a strong key. You wouldn't want to keep using the same password over and over. But for our example, it's OK. Apply. And then we need to verify these settings. So once you click Apply, give it a minute. All right, once you click Apply, it will go back to the main screen. Verify these settings, which we already did. So what new information is on the screen? We can now see that it's enabled, it's using our security policy, and it's using the appropriate interface, so we're good there. Next, we're going to connect to the network and verify connectivity. So I'm going to go ahead and move that off screen. I'm going to go to my wireless hosts, go to my desktop, go to PC wireless, go to connect, hit refresh. I will see my new wireless network there. I will hit connect, put in the wireless shared key, and immediately you'll see the connection. That is all we had to do in this lab. You can go ahead and verify the IP information if you want. You can ping uh, different items if you want, but we don't need to. Lab is showing 100%. Check results. Everything is checked, nine out of nine, we are good. Questions or anything, feel free to reach out. Thank you.